Blossom Patty here. It is May 18th and I am nature journaling. The sky is very overcast today. A little cold, but not bad. But look how green the woods are getting. We have green on the floor of the woods and green on the understory. And the canopy is just starting to get green. Uh, today was full of surprises for Possum Patty. I don't usually have a plan when I go on my walkabouts to Nature Journal. But sometimes I have an idea in the back of my head, like maybe the day before a certain plant caught my eye. Like yesterday I went to find a zigzag star lily or false Solomon seal or Solomon seal, whatever it's going to be. And I wanted to sketch it and put it in the journal. Something else I look at is last year's journal. I did a 50 day project and sketching things around the yard. And on this page I list all the ferns that I had seen. And I've found the cinnamon fern and the marsh fern and the hay scented ferns. But there's a few others here I haven't seen yet. And one of them was the interrupted fern. So that was on my mind when I went out walking today. As I was heading back towards the clearing, I just happened to glance over at the rain garden. The interrupted ferns are very noticeable once the frond unfurls because the fertile leaflets here are so much darker than the sterile leaflets and it really stands out, this interrupted pattern. So when I glanced over at the rain garden and saw these, I just had to go over and investigate. Now this is right by the house. Well, I was looking for this fern way out in the woods and here it is right behind the rain garden that I'm making by the house. And this is the interrupted fern. Because if you look at one of the fronds, you have sterile leaflets and then that pattern is interrupted by these fertile leaflets. This is where the spores are going to be made. And then you go back to some sterile leaflets again. So it's an interrupted pattern. And not all of the leaves have those fertile leaflets on it. So it's kind of cool. They're right here by the house. I stopped to sketch these ferns and just happened to look down and saw a little ground pine. I'm just sitting here by the interrupted ferns doing a little sketching. And right next to me is a little club moss. So I'm just going to note down here in the journal what's back here behind the rain garden. And the ground pine had new little light green shoots on it. And then I started noticing several other plants. And this looks like one of those zigzag star lilies. And behind me I think we got some wild sarsaparilla. And I think we have a little star flower and some hay scented ferns. So I had to stop and sketch them in my journal, even though I did sketch them yesterday. They're so much fun to sketch, I put them in again. Of course, we have the Canada Mayflowers like a ground cover all over the floor of the forest. And all around are these little Canada Mayflowers with buds. 
but I found one where the bud was just starting to expand up. Then I found these little oak tree saplings. What's interesting about the little white oak sapling is that its leaves in the spring are described as silverish pink and they're fuzzy. I believe the other oak sapling to be a red oak. Now red oak trees, it's said that the mid vein goes all the way down to the tip and extends out and white oaks the mid vein does not extend out past the tip of the leaf. And it seems to be two kinds of oak seedlings. This one looks like a white oak. And over here, looks like the red oak or a different kind of oak. And then of course there was a little red partridge berry. And right behind me is some partridge berry. Look at that bright red berry. And that seems to be growing on a rock. So what surprised me was I had been walking all through the woods looking for the interrupted fern and some of these other wild flowers. And here they were, right by the rain garden, close by the house. I do enjoy you coming along on my nature journaling adventures, even if it's only a few steps from the house. Bye-bye. <laughs>